Hello, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Today I got this Nintendo Switch that doesn't power on and uh, charging port is good already, it has been confirmed, but it, I got my this USB-C meter and if you plug it in, you usually will see a number how much amp is going in into it to charge the battery to power it on, but there's nothing going in, so Sometimes if you flip it, it might work. Still nothing. So we're gonna try to find out why it's doing, why this is happening, and how you know how we can fix it. Let's find out. Okay, whenever there's a problem with the Nintendo Switch uh, not powering on or, or not charging, it usually has to do with the this power IC right here that controls the voltage coming in and you know I guess it distributes to the board to work properly so if I can zoom that in there and then all these lines are capacitors these looks capacitors capacitors here and there's probably a diode so if there's any like shorted line this will be kind of like the reason why so let me test this so this is short to ground so this caps not shorted there's a short to ground there you go there's a short ground so this cap is shorted this short on both ends so you can see the trace that goes right in there so I don't think this capacitor is shorted both of them it looks good but not sure it could be the reason but so let me look at here Good here, good. Okay, those are all good. So this is good. So these are small resistors. So this one's shorted too. So we already know three lines right here are shorted to ground. So those all goes in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and see if the uh, short goes away, then we can determine this is the bad one and we can replace it and see what happens. Okay, the uh, power IC has been removed. So we're gonna test that the uh, shorted line again. Short it here, but no short. And yep, as you can see, there's no short anymore. No short here, but this is to the ground. 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 This is probably burned right there. Or maybe not a capacitor. I'm gonna have to check that later. But well, anyway, definitely the short is gone on this line. So it was shorted here. This line leads to here, this line leads to here, and these two lines were shorted and it goes directly to the uh, this IC. So, yep. Now I think we can safely say the chip, the M thing is uh, MT, let me see. M92T36, this chip is no good and it's commonly it does go bad after a lot of the charging, I guess. So, so we'll go ahead and replace this, see what happens. Uh, sorry for the uh, error. <clears throat> I thought it was a video recording the uh, thing, me putting the IC uh, back on the board, but apparently my video was stopped. So it's already on there. Sorry, sorry for the video. Okay, the IC power IC has been replaced and it's time to test. Uh, ready? So this was shorted, no short. 
See, these two lines were shorty lines. So bottom here, both are short. One on top, not anymore. It's actually reading. Let's see. It's getting diode reading. So 312 in here. This one's getting 486. Yep, so definitely communicating. This line is good. And this line right here is shorted to ground no matter what. So that was probably a ground cap. What other caps are okay? So these two power line seems to be communicating, it's working. So it's time to uh, assemble and see if it charges. Okay, as you can see, I got the uh, board just connected to the battery and just, just to see if it charges. And as you can see, there's a 6.6 6 watt, close to 6 watt going into the uh, charging port through to the board. So it is definitely charging. So looks like the, uh, the power IC was a problem. And I'm going to say this was a successful fix. So I'm going to assemble and let's see uh, if the screen works. Okay, the uh, switch has been fully assembled. It's charging good. And let's see. There it is, the charging symbol. So if you have any questions, please contact us through ifixsmartphone.com or drop us an email. Thanks for watching.